coming to you from Homebrew Studios. It's Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour with your host, Bob Katie. And that John Piccarillo. Hello, hello, and good evening, good morning, good night, whatever you, whenever you're Welcome listening. aboard, folks. It is Thursday, April 16th. Happy day after tax day. We finally had a warm one. I finally say it was a warm one. Nice day. This past Sunday, it all started. You know what? You can break down the fourth, fifth, or third wall, or whatever they call it when you're not supposed to. We're taping this on Sunday. Beautiful Sunday. Right, right. So but we're taping it Sunday night, so. And I had to talk about it. Yeah. It's got to do with more things that are coming up later, and uh, it was a very inspiring day. I hate to m- not have that feeling of inspiration. <laughs> you just like it because it's sunshine. That's right. Well, I've been waiting. Everybody's been in hibernation anyway, so it's a good thing. Like I did the same thing I've been doing most weekends here, but I did it with vigor because it was that much more fun to be oh, outside. You, you got crazy. I got crazy today. You got crazy. Hours of split cutting. No splitting yet. That'll, That'll probably be after. <laughs> Since it's Sunday night, we'll probably be wa- right after this podcast. We'll be going upstairs watching Game of Thrones, and I'm sure you'll be heading out to Split Land somewhere. That's about what sounds about right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very excited about uh, watching Game of Thrones tonight. Yeah, yeah. It's just get back in the saddle with that. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. As, uh, I don't like the I don't like the theme of the show when the show comes though. Because when the show starts in April, obviously, it's and um, you're done with winter. You don't want to hear anything about winter. But they're saying is winter's coming. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> it's their winter, not ours. Yeah, winter's coming. And that, that part of it just makes you go, no, no, no. First time outside, I didn't have to wear a fleece. Well, something. there's something you don't see every day. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Lately, anyway. Been out there with a winter hat and Carhartt, as a matter of a couple of weeks ago. Sometime two Carhartts. Yeah. Ridiculous. A Carhartt sweatshirt, then a Carhartt on top of it. It's ridiculous. I need this is weather goddamn like ridiculous. I need it. 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 I saw you out there today, though. You had this. Is my boomstick. That's right. Yeah, that's you right. had that, didn't you? I used my boomstick on the regular today. I was chunking them big, stacking yeah. them high. Have a nice day. That's right. <laughs> you were. You were out there I want cranking it, gone. it along. I want it gone because I'm ready to do summer type things, which is nothing. <laughs> Boating, floating. It's never nothing with you. Though. I know. That's true. It'd be a, I'd be a liar if I said I would sit around and do nothing, but... I feel a lot better about sitting around doing nothing in the summer. Around here. I I try to get things done. You probably have your minimal around here. Yeah, everybody's got to take a time out. Yeah. Everybody. But you always end up finding something to do just out of, eh. I can't help myself. Yeah. Like last last year when I got, was picking the rocks and everything like that, you we're suddenly out there. I come down from taking a shower after I got done for the day, and I was like, I'm done. And you're out there picking rocks. I'm like, what the hell is he doing? It's good for you to pick rocks. I was picking rocks since I was a kid because our beach on Sagandaga, I mean, there's a lot of rocks in Sagandaga, and that beach doesn't clear itself. So since I was a kid to this day, we had to move the rocks. So you pick them up, put them in buckets, or you chuck them, and you just pile them up on the sides. Yeah. And that's what we did to try to get a nice sandy beach, which now it's ridiculous because the water doesn't even get down there anymore. The whole summer it stays up high, so we don't have a beach. Yeah. It's kind of messed up, but I guess you got to make new beach. So I guess you missed the rock picking. You were out there picking rocks last summer, huh? Yeah, it's, out just, here. it's just things change. Now it's more bring in the dirt. And you know what I mean? You're better off bringing in the dirt because what happens is every year water comes up in the spring. Well, ice melt, and it's a reservoir, man-made, and they use it to hold water as an overflow, keep the Hudson at a certain level. Yeah. So they, it's used for that. So they don't let it out unless they need it. 
somewhere at the end of the summer, they start letting it out because they got to let it out so it doesn't overflow. Yeah. Because it, it has overflowed the dam before, and it was like Niagara Falls over there. <laughs> I could imagine so. I was in a paddle boat, and when I was paddling along the shoreline, you could look down, and I'd be like Ooh. over people. What? <laughs> what the? What did you hear that? That's unbelievable. I feel so funky. I sit next to a guy at, <laughs> at work that does it, and he's like, what? I stopped doing I go, you your You nasty. Tra- if I knew that would stop you in your tracks, I'm going to be doing this all the time. Yes, I know. Why encourage him? It's disgusting. Why well, you got the weird look all over your face? Yeah. yeah. I don't even know what I was talking about now. Oh, I was looking straight down, and there was a fire pit, like where my neighbors always burn. Yeah. I was paddling over it. <laughs> so the water was wicked high then. But. The problem now is the beach that we've worked on our whole lives is all underwater all summer long. Yeah. Because it's up to the lawn, you know? What are you going to do? <laughs> That's why I got a boat. <laughs> you get out on the boat and you're in the sun. It's the craziest thing. If I don't get out on I'm my on boat. I'm on a boat, y'all. You, you don't even know how beautiful it is some days because there's so many trees and coverage and shade. If you don't get out on the boat, you can miss a beautiful day thinking it's like kind of a cool, breezy day. You know what I yeah. mean? But if you get on the boat and you're under the sun and you're on the water, yeah, baby, yeah, make my skin brown and tan, yeah. All right, we got to take care of some business here. What? All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. It's six minutes, seven minutes in. We haven't done that. Oh, you can find us at Bob and John's podcast at gmail.com or at Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram or at our Facebook page or our Instagram. Ooh. <laughs> or you can find us on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel at Bob and John Super Duper Variety Power Hour. I did it. Jay couldn't get it all last last week, so. Yeah, there's a, st- <laughs> a little stumbling going on there. He was all fumbling, stumbling, tumbling. I feel so funky. I feel so funky. <laughs> Feels so good. <laughs> it feels so, it feels so good. Uh, it feels so just, good. Feels so good when just joking around. <laughs> I didn't even write up the board. Look at I that. I know you Holy didn't, but crap. I, I thought We're really playing by the, going by the seat of our pants. I know. And we, our viewers, if anybody's watching us on the YouTube channel, uh-huh. it you know we, we have the new banner. We're trying to find the perfect location the for height it. Adjustment and we're, we, is and a if it's a little darker critical. or something, we might be we're, we're we're dealing with lighting. Different lighting. As as You've everybody seen the does set know. Evolve. Yes. So we, it's nothing new. Listen, audibly we Actually it is new and that's for your improvement. Yeah, audibly we've improved and you've if you've been with us from first Day episode, one. you've seen the Which we're about halfway through our first entire year we are halfway through yeah yeah i find that astonishing human sacrifice dogs and cats living together mass hysteria imagine if we videoed the first one i'm chaos and he's mayhem we're a double act yeah (laughs) we were we were two floors up (laughs) and i had i had tupperware bins all around me to hold my beer and my wine and my ipad dumb son of a bitch and then and Bob was sitting, so he was down at a desk at a car table. At a car table. <laughs> we did what, like, it, what, it, two it or was, three. It was seriously guerrilla warfare. Yeah. Oh, no, totally. I, yeah. 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 Our first one was pretty. Pretty. Yeah. Then we came. I, I kind of wish we did get it on tape. Now that I think about it, just so you could watch the transformation. We were just trying to hold, to, to launch something. Yeah. In an audible sense, and that's we didn't what we even decided about, to do, and that's how we kept going. Yeah. Now look at us. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Now look at us. <laughs> it's there. not a tumor. <laughs> We're getting there. It's great. Now look at us. Uh, we haven't. You, you, you haven't even seen. Uh, we don't barely ever talk about our. What do you call them? Their video finger painting. <laughs> no, I wasn't finger painting. You are what? <laughs> the videoettes. Vinuets. Vinuets. Okay, well, I had yes. to get it right. I don't. See, I never heard of either one of those, so I had to get it right. Videoets. You want to call it that? I don't. Doesn't, Vinuets. Doesn't, doesn't we it, do. We do. Can you can see like? Are they all on YouTube? No, uh, no, they're not. If you go to our Instagram, you can see them all. I see. Or our Facebook page. Oh, so, are so all that's on. something to know. Yeah. Watchers. Yes. 
you're going to have to go others to see the vignettes. The vignettes are on our Facebook page, our Twitter, or our um, Instagram account. Huh. So everywhere but the YouTube, because we just started the doing the YouTube, yeah. what about a month and a half ago? So maybe we it's can still. It's still pretty. You know new. what we should do? I think it's a good idea. We'll take we'll take all of the vignettes. I mean, I assume you save them. Yeah. So yes, we'll, I do. we could do like a we could do our like best of. We can do like a little collage of vignettes and do all of the you know the. I said, faces. stick it in your ass. <laughs> edit. Yeah. Yeah. I, gotta edit I more said, shit. stick it in your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna edit more. Mother puss bucket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a great idea. You might see it one of these days. You're not going to be hearing this out of me. I love this plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. Let's do it. Is the camera plugged in? I just saw some red flashing. I want to make sure it's not. Oh, who, who, who the hell knows? Uh, yeah, I think it see, is. See right there, right there. See that? What is it? Yeah, we're Whatever. gonna go with it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> This is how oh, this yeah. is how loose and buttery That's we right. are tonight. That's exactly right. That's the way I feel too. I'm chaos and he's mayhem. We're a double act. You know, after you do a lot of uh, hauling and lifting and pushing and exercise of this nature, oh, when you do all that exercise, you like to come in here and think up things that make me have more work. Yeah, that's see, that's how it works. Yeah. Oh, that's how first, I clear my head. Take a big step back. And literally, fuck your own face! That's about where I'm at with editing about now. <laughs> I know. Well, I got thinking. I, did you hear that? Can you believe Excuse that? Excuse me. It's on the air. You dumb son of a bitch. You dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> I love that one. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. Oh. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Yeah, that's right. Yep. I that do is. enjoy the camera being there now, especially where we have a better connection. I know when to address it a little more often now and what works. If somebody the, watches yeah. this and likes yeah. the show but doesn't like you, mm -hmm. it's rough for them to watch it. Oh, <laughs> because sure. Because you yeah. are all up Yeah, if you don't that. like me, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm a, trying to appeal to the people who like me. Because <laughs> if you don't like me, not much I can do about it. Oh, you, you saying people don't? There's some people that don't like me. I was just referring to <laughs> if they don't, it, that's, it, they shouldn't be watching it because they'll get real annoyed. That's right. You know, like you know when today you were all fired up to cut wood and everything. I just shed and close, and you were like, dun, dun, dun! I am Captain Chaos, and this this is my faithful companion, Cato. <laughs> With that, it's more like your chainsaws. The chainsaws, your yeah, your yeah. faithful we have companion. Become very good friends. <laughs> you become very close. Yeah, yeah. he's joking around. <laughs> yeah. Feels so good when he jokes. You know, I'm starting to add things up now, and I'm just thinking like, because when you fill a chainsaw with gas, it's like a cup. About that, and I've gone through gallons of gas. So to pump gallons, multiple gallons of gas through a chainsaw, you got to run it. Run it. And run it some more. And run it some more. That's right. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and you know what? I even know when it's saying, no, 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 don't do that. You know? Because <laughs> there's, there's this sawing motion that works. <laughs> you cut real deep down here and then you cut really good over <laughs> on the go? other side. <laughs> down here and then on the other side well sometimes so on the funky. side is no 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 not so hard don't push so hard <laughs> so sometimes i gotta lay off but those you know that's good because pushing that thing too hard hurts me too i mean it's hard work to push the thing through a piece of wood. i just i just want it done Woo! that's all i want it that's all i want i can count them out there there's six Yes. But they're base massive. The big, the biggest, uh, ma most I've, massive I've ones. I've been cutting on top of them all winter long. There was a point where one of them was completely disappeared because ice and snow sawdust. and sawdust just kept piling up. 
and I, and, and I was using these logs so I wouldn't have to bend over. You know I'm a big fan of ergonomics. Oh. So getting the logs up off the ground and keeping them there is where I want them to be. I want them to be, you know, like this. I'm standing, and that rarely oh, happens. But You and your ergonomics. Woo! That's right. So I've been waiting to get to where I am today because there were these those bastards were frozen in ice. They weren't unobtainable until today. Yeah. Pretty much. So all that's left are the, the all, amazing all that's thing left is, is the six cutting logs that were the, the biggest of the whole. It was in group, the 60s, sunny, really beautiful out today, and one of those logs still had huge. It was still stuck in a huge thing yeah. of ice. One is still, one which is you're still like sitting there going, "Wow, yeah. you know." And until I can roll them easy, there's no need, There's no reason to mess with them because they're so big they have to get cut from each side, which yeah. means they got to roll. Roll, in. roll, baby, roll. So, but, um, so I'm close enough to the final goal that I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. Ah, shut up! There's no way we're going to run out of wood this year. No. So we, I don't have to worry about that. So when those last six get cut is when we get to them. Ah, shut up! And that's it. But I'll tell you, it won't be too long because I don't want to be out there when I'm supposed to be in shorts. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to be in flip-flops and shorts when it's that warm. I don't want to wear steel-toe boots and jeans when it's friggin' 80 out. I'm not going to complain about the heat, but I don't want to be cutting wood in it. That's why. Ah, Highly motivated to get it done, folks. I'm there for you. Now it's time for the news with Bob and John. Favorite little news music there. I know. I almost forgot. I usually take care of things. You usually take care of things. Well, yeah, no, you, that one I liked. I listened to it all the time. Anyway, <laughs> you listen to that all the time. Anyway. Oh yeah, I like it. I can. I. I feel like. I feel like I can. He's joking around. <laughs> when I he feel so good when he jokes. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. I feel so light and free. Well, anyway. Uh, we do a little news segment once in a while, and we both kind of come to the table with a, a few things we're interested in, little stories, little things that happen, what's, wh- whatever. Uh, you know what? I'll start out tonight. Uh, you better, because you ain't got shit. No, you, you didn't tell me to do any research. I could do a pick. Of it's the, not a tumor. I, I got to do a pick of the week, though, because um, I still was holding off on one that was pretty recent. But we were trying to come up with something different. We're having an idea about that. Because it's usually, you know, I have a lot of favorite girls. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Celebrity. Yeah. Keep that, keep that, keep that in the book there, yeah. See, that's how it doesn't, that's how I don't get to contribute. Surely you can't be serious. <laughs> I am serious. Now, don't call me Shirley. Oh, you contribute. Uh, I'm just kidding with you. <laughs> I said stick it in your ass. <laughs> well, anyway. All right. Mine would be, um, I'm, I'm going to geek out a little bit oh, here boy. Uh-oh. um little little kind of geek out nerd nerd out whatever you want to call it um you know hey i love my sports and i'm a rock and roll guy too and so you're but gonna I, talk I about the masters <laughs> yeah. uh, that's my you're contribution I'll tell you, there's a lot of people that watch that. Feels so good when he jokes if jay was here nah. he would have a lot to say about it yeah that's what yeah. we just found out we weren't we didn't even know that yeah, I we I don't talking mind. About I, I like golf, and he was like, "Oh yeah, the Masters." I like going to and play a golf. A bunch of my Facebook fans were were commenting about their watching, and you know, and uh, I like comments and stuff. I like to uh, play golf, but watching it. If I, I want to see all the good shots of the day, I'll just check it out on Sports Center. I don't watch mm. golf, and so we're the same. Yeah. But Jay was like, "Are you kidding me? I watching know. the Masters is like the the the." What is it? The chalice of of life for golfers. He was like, you dumb son of a bitch. You dumb son of a bitch. The Holy Grail. I was looking for that. Holy Grail. You were stretching for that? Digging deep for it. Well, anyway, this last Friday, two things came out and made me have a really good Friday. Really, really good Friday. Mm -hmm. One of them, and, and, and 
uh, I'll, I'll, you know, like I said, I'm going to geek out a little bit here. One of them was the digital versions of the six Star Wars movies. Oh, you out. did mention this. So you seemed pretty excited about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, starting I to do, see things pop up on Facebook about that, too. I do movies through iTunes now. I don't do Blu-ray well, anymore, yeah. DVDs. You, or You watch a few more than I do. Yeah, If so if I want a movie, I buy it through But you already iTunes. own all the Star Wars. That is true, yeah. So you have it. You have the media. Yeah, but now, well, now when I, I will be purchasing them, but when I do... Obviously, at my fingertips digitally, digitally. right there. You, you don't yeah. have the, but couldn't you convert? You, you got to buy a DVD, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's not the same. Doesn't work. It does. It works. It's not the same though. Quality. It, yeah, you're talking. You're talking some quality issues. You're talking. And that about, stuff you want at the highest. With Star Wars, yeah, you, yeah, you want. Yeah, so. that's like the science fiction type stuff you yeah, want. I could. I could understand that. You know, but that that was. You know, I was. It was like. It, it, to me, it was more like. Finally, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, was it finally, a hang up with who owned it? I have no idea what what the reason be. It was recently is. sold and purchased, right? Yeah, Disney owns it now, right? Which anything Disney has, they're putting out there. They got every single level. form. Yeah, so I don't know. I do not know what the reason behind not putting it out in the digital form was. Mm-hmm. If Lucas just didn't want to do it that way, or he had some reasonings behind it, or you know, I don't know. You know, it would be hard to, for me to to believe they didn't just get to that point yet because right, he's yeah. freaking George Lucas. He should be on the edge of every to must have taken on the cusp of every well, technology type stuff, of thing with it, right? Send yeah, it through their. They probably had to do some kind. It's like remastering. Yeah, almost yeah. like a remastering music type wise. Right. They did had to, probably had to do some it's, it's some of it that Disney-ized. way. Disneyized. Yeah, something like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think it was too Disneyized, but you know, you can only it, change it, the old ones so much. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think they changed anything. They probably There's just like no content. They, they it's probably impossible to change stuff like that. They probably it was a f- like a format thing right, to make right, it right, right. Just the way look better in the digital kind of format. Filter you're going to run on it, that sort of thing. I, I don't know. Maybe yeah. sound might be a big one. All that kind of stuff. You know hey, what I mean? Yeah, well, it's interesting. I'm sure they have to run it through it's it, cool. the, its its thing or whatever. And I'm sure this was probably a Disney thought, probably a big thing because the new Star Wars movie is going to be coming out in December. So they probably wanted to get it out this year, you know, the other ones to get out. Doesn't look like uh my uh my other geek out on Friday was you that two? Netflix yeah, two you in one day. You got two woodies in one day? It was overwhelming. <laughs> uh <laughs> Jackass. Um <laughs> This is my boomstick. <laughs> That's what I was all Friday. I should bring my boomstick. I'm bringing the boomstick. Oh, down you're gonna show the boomstick because when I'm all done out there, that will be so unimpressive. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. Yeah, I know. I probably won't because what you're imagining is probably better than what it is. <laughs> it would be, it would be such a letdown. <laughs> wow. I was just gonna explain it. I'm like, That's no, the I want to. I want to. I want to keep it. I want to keep the boomstick the way I have it in my mind. This is about all you'll get. Well, there's something you don't see every day. <laughs> <laughs> Things been mangled up and yeah, burned. It's, it's not that impressive anymore. It's not it's that been around the block, though, man. It's done a lot of work around here. He's talking about the measuring stick for the wood outside. Right. So if any of you are getting I, any other ideas I when call, he says yeah, it's I, been around the block and mangled <laughs> a little bit. He's not going to show you something like what you, maybe you think, ladies. It started out as a broomstick. That's what how how its life started. So it <laughs> pushed a broom for a long time. Did it? Yeah, yeah. It had a screw in uh, the end that's now all burnt because it was used for a fire poker. <laughs> so right there, it used to. Did be- that come with? Did you bring that over? I don't know or where was that it here? came from. It's I mean- <laughs> the broomstick. We don't even know where the hell it came from. Well, so then it was a fire poker, from. and then I put a mark on it. I mean, dead on. So. In, it will dead f- on balls accurate. No, I went a little low actually because I wanted to make sure you don't, that I had you don't an. Ang- no, I did. Here. That's good. It's, I was going to say it. Like I almost said Vinny? it. Yeah, I was almost going dead on balls accurate. <laughs> so, so the thing will fit accurate. into the splitter because I can cut those things massive, but it doesn't do us any good because you can't split them. 
Yeah. So I try to get them as big as possible because the stove will take friggin' four footers, but the splitter takes about two. It's about a two yeah. footer. It's still a pretty damn big log. Here we are, back to the wood again. Ah, shut up! <laughs> all right. So my second geek out was that. Uh, net- I'm all about wood. You're all about geeking out. That's it. That's what. Ah, shut up! <laughs> um. A net uh, Netflix put out another original series on Friday, and it's a Marvel original uh, series, Daredevil. Uh, did you start watching it? I think you we're did. almost through with it. No, I was going to say, <laughs> I think Sunday it was out Friday. I we're almost done. I think I've done. seen that every time I walk by the TV. <laughs> but Daredevil, to me, Daredevil's a big deal because you were always a big fan of Daredevil. Yeah, when I as a kid with comic books, you know, everybody Spider Man, Batman, and you know, I did Batman, and you know, everybody. And everybody. I, had a I Batman costume one Halloween. I gravitated toward Daredevil, and that was a that was a big deal for me. He didn't have a lot of superpowers, though, did he? Not really. I mean, he had um, he had his heightened senses because he was blind. He had like the you know hearing and the the smell and everything else. But as far as defense and fighting and stuff like that. Pretty much, he's a normal guy, kind of like Batman, but without he was he was a poor man's Batman, I guess you could say in a way because he didn't have all the money. He was a a lawyer that you know they did like he was like um, a lawyer that did a lot of the pro bono stuff or the always trying to get cases type of thing. Is and, this series following suit with the comic book? Like did it from this the beginning, this beginning of Daredevil, or yeah, this is. By, by any Marvel movie. Does it explain things? About yeah, it? by any Marvel movie that has come out, mm-hmm. movie or show, because they have the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on ABC. Right, right. Seen, this seen one a bit. has stayed s- the truest I have seen hmm. to the comic book. Huh. Like, really, I mean, really, really true to the well, comic book. Take it at your word, because yes. you're, pretty, you're, you're, you're pretty critical. Yes, I was when they announced they were going to do this. I was very excited, mm-hmm. and uh, it has beyond lived up to. So, how did you binge on it already? You had it recording, and you just hadn't gotten to it, or Netflix? Oh, it's been there for a little while. I no, thought you were... no, no. It just came out Friday. It's oh, so like, you watched? It's like House of Cards. It's an original yeah, but Netflix. You said you're almost through it. How many episodes did you watch? There's 13 episodes. We got three more to go. Well, that's what I'm saying. How how did you get that far behind? I'm surprised if you if you dig but it. But we're not behind. Like House of Cards, yeah. when Netflix releases something, they release the whole season. I got gotcha. you. Okay, you're right. It's been it's, a long time since I had Netflix, so I yeah, I got it's a that. it's a Netflix original. Mar uh, Marvel and Netflix made it. a deal yep. last year, and they're going to produce like a couple other series along with Daredevil, and this was their first their first one. Huh. You know, and you know you kind of have those levels of television now. You have network television and then you've got like cable television which is like fx uh usa network good show you know it's a step above network shows yeah. i guess you could say a little bit more they can do and then there's the third step which i consider is like stars hbo where they're really doing really good original content and i'm putting netflix up into that hbo yeah. Yeah. category of they're doing really, really good original content. I, I agree. We already talked about Game of Thrones. I'm pretty excited to watch it. This yes, starts yes. Tonight. Yeah. So this well, this whole weekend I've been in geek out mode. Then I guess those two things. Ah, and Game yeah. of Thrones coming tonight. Triple Woody. And, bing. We have yeah. to have. A, we should have a thing for that. <laughs> Turkey <laughs> and bowling. That was three strikes in a row. Remember that one. So that one's their triple Woody. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was Tri- triple geek. Woody, I was Bing. I was happy because that metal show last night had Zach Wild on playing. He was the You're guitar out player. Of control with content. I was the, yeah. I was content overload this weekend. It was great. It was just it was great to have too much content. Yeah. Because it was like, where do I start? And you know, it's like oh, it, it just it'll last. Right, you know right. Know let, I mean? let it last. Well, they've also with the Avengers movie coming out May first, they're selling these tickets. That it starts on April third. What's the saying there? Is April thirty first, right, or is it April thirtieth? I don't know what saying are you talking about. <laughs> past June, past November, April up your ass in November. I don't know that one. You don't know that one with the days. 
I know six of one, half dozen of the other. Oh, but you with that? I, I don't God use it. <laughs> this is the one I'm terrible at. It's the only one I can't friggin' get in my head. Thirty. I thought I thought it was thirty days. On April thirtieth, they're going to uh, some movie theaters. Well, I I hope you bring that saying to the table sometime. I'd like to know it. You've never heard that. I don't know. My, uh, my wife will tell you when we go upstairs. So All she right. Knows. Yeah, but I got to make myself a note here. <laughs> what? That's three. Three nasty That's mother. Like five. In a row. It's been like five. Man. Um, bang, bang, bang. Uh, I'm going to put my ass up to this thing one time and see how you like that. Uh huh. I said stick it in your ass. Uh-huh. Um, but anyway. We have discussed lighting it. I, I, with the video, I think yeah. it would be very exciting. I could get right up here where Gene is and blow a flame right at the camera. Ah, shut up. Uh-huh. These theaters are going to do a, a, a tick. They have a ticket. Where they start at Iron Man one and go like Iron Man, the first Iron Man, uh, the Incredible Hulk, Iron Man two, Captain America, Thor, the uh, the Avengers, Iron Man three, the second Captain America movie, the second Thor, and then going right into the the Avengers movie on May first. So basically, is you go into the theater, and maybe I don't know if they give you bathroom breaks or something. But you know how much viewing that is. That's batshit crazy. Too much for me. Too much for me. You know. So when they started doing when they when I heard that, I was like, I could do that at home. Yeah. Absolutely. So I've been kind of throwing in the movies to to uh, kind of start watching them. You know, one here and one there until the Avengers. Mo- you know, to lead my way up to the. To the Avengers uh, Age of Ultron on May, in May 1st. Ultron! Ultron. Ultron! I've seen that picture on the front of uh, EW. Yeah. Looks pretty neat. Yeah. It, it, it's going to be a pretty badass movie. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Just you know. Ultron! You all right? Yeah. <laughs> Why you got the weird look all over your face? But anyway, that was mine. I kind of geeked out this weekend. It's fun once like, in a while to geek out. Doesn't look like Tiger's doing too good in the uh, the Masters, Masters is yeah. over. It's all done. Yeah, I, we knew that before we came. That's how down closely here. I've been following it. Yeah, exactly. Well, anyway, so are you still digging around for your news bit? No, no, no. I was absolutely actually, actually looking through. I moved on to other things. I was trying to <laughs> trying to find <laughs> trying to find thirty. So you're, you're leaving me with all the news. You're all before. the news. Yeah, I'm not digging up anything. You you're didn't, you didn't tell me to. You had triple. I geek did out. tell you. You had everything. You had. Everything. I did we, tell you. I, to. You don't need no more content. We got to be at about. Uh, I did tell you. We got to be about thirty minutes anyway. So that's why I was thinking about the next steps. I told. you I was trying to, to find out the thirty days of baby, baby First, that you said. Take a big step back. And literally fuck your own face. I did tell you. Well, snap out of it. No, you didn't even say the news. You didn't, yes, I did. I told you exactly what we were gonna do. You were so goddamn obsessed. Sorry. Yeah, that's right. So obsessed mm-hmm. with the wood. You got a woody for the wood. You I've dumb got a, son of a bitch. I've got an agenda, and it's called Camp Season. T minus one month. Mother pus bucket. <laughs> John here doesn't have all the time for shit like that. He's got to relax. It's got to be over. All of this. There was a there was a four month block right here. I'm I'm in the middle of. <laughs> no, not in the middle of. I'm at the end of. I'm seeing the light, baby. I'm seeing the light. So excited. But there was one thing after another. Woo! I don't want to go too far with the details. I don't think I need to. I had a lot going on the last couple months. Busy. Yeah. Just busy. Yeah. A little bit too much for me. I, I can handle quite a bit. But the last four months feels like I had to go a little above and beyond. Yeah, you and uh, you've had a lot of you've had a lot of moving parts. As you yes, like to say. exactly, exactly. A lot of moving parts. Well, and I I'm just love. you know when the the nice weather, I'm highly motivated to get. You got one on deck. Is uh, yeah, I was point? waiting. I wasn't sure where we were. I was waiting for you to write a number down, but we don't really don't have to. I can. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty, dummy. <laughs> <laughs> 
That means there's usually some uh, things, you know, blue line stuff. I'm just, blue line stuff? I totally made that up. Like, I think sometimes you use color codes on there, and then yeah. there's like, like the normal thing is blue. blue. Yeah. Was I right? Yeah. See? See? Do you see how amazing that is? And you just... Ah, shut up! Uh-huh. Yeah, you were like, nah, what, what does that mean? I knew exactly what it meant. You can find us at Bob and John's podcast <laughs> at gmail.com or... <laughs> at Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram or... Why well, you got the weird look all over your face? Oh, because I nailed it. <laughs> or our Facebook or YouTube channel at Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. <sighs> Listen to Bob and John's Quick Shots every Tuesday on iTunes, BuzzFeed.com, or Stitcher.com. Brought to you by Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour, Bob and John's Quick Shots. See, at least I I know right where it is now, for sure. You like that, don't you? I do. I do. You do like that. It's kind of like being part of the program part of the program no like like really part of it like intermeshed with it part of life what are you doing over there uh I'm multitasking gonna, I'm, I'm gonna during do, the show i don't yes, know yes i'm gonna do <laughs> my first live commercial read here so you're ready oh, wow. for this okay it's yeah, I'm for ready. uh it, it's for uh a a um uh it's for a company called color me gorgeous i know the participants yes so Here we go with Color Me Gorgeous. Getting married, attending a special event. The secret to looking perfect is Color Me Gorgeous. Color Me Gorgeous is the premier makeup experience for upstate New York. Color Me Gorgeous specializes in airbrush makeup. The celebrity secret for looking red carpet ready. Owner and founder Rachel Duncan has trained with top brands in the industry and has years of experience as a professional makeup artist. Rachel's unique approach to makeup allows her to effortlessly effortlessly bring her clients' visions to life. She flawlessly transforms every session into a -a one-of-a-kind, unparalleled beauty experience. Color Me Gorgeous is also featured on Wedding Wire for the Albany, New York area. For more information, go to www.colormegorgeous.me. Or follow her on Instagram at color underscore me underscore gorgeous X O. Color Me Gorgeous is the premier makeup experience in New York State. Color Me Gorgeous. Our first commercial. I'm very excited. I like that. You like that? Yeah, I do. That we do a little live read on that. Yeah, okay. Once in a while, you got to kick it out there. That's you good. Know? Hey, they're, uh, they're listeners. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so, they are listeners. I think that's good. So That's how... Next work. time I'll get a little music bed to go to New York. There we go. Yeah, you know. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. We'll, we'll hit a home run on that one. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And I could. I got to tell you, I don't wear makeup, so I don't know nothing about it. Me neither. But, but I've seen some of her work, and she does a nice job. Yeah, as far as makeup. As, as far as our over here goes, one time. So. Yes. There's a photo shoot, and I was, I was. it's funny. It started, and, you know, it was a friend or something like that, and mm-hmm. I went out to do wood. Uh-huh. Didn't pay no attention other than everybody was setting up to do stuff at the the big countertop, you know. Yeah. Well, okay, whatever. I mind my own business, and I went outside to cut wood. And when she came out, because I think she was getting married, right? Was it? No, 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 no. She just came because she's for a fo- uh, the photo shoot or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, when it. she came out, she like, exploded with exploded. color. Yeah, I was like, whoa! Exploded with I color, had to, me like, gorgeous not, all over her face. I, I had to like, not stare because she was here with her husband too and the kid. Her boyfriend, yeah. So, so uh, I, you know, I didn't want to stare, but I was like, "Whoa!" You know what yeah. I mean? Whoa! Oh, that, see, so, so, it works. <laughs> yeah, job, job well done. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I mean, job well done. She just uh, started up. She put her her website just went up uh, last week or the week before, and uh, you know, go check it out. Hey. www.colormegorgeous.me. Big fan of entrepreneurship. That's correct. That's correct. And uh, well, I guess we'll just get right into it. <laughs> Loose 
and Buttery with your host, Don Piccarillo. Bob knows I would just sit here and do that Forever. for an hour if he didn't say something. <laughs> I would. You would. Yep. And even though this is you, my bit, um, I would not say anything. I would just listen to the music. <laughs> just listen to the music forever. That's something we threw together. I think it's awesome. Yeah. You know what I mean? I love it. I love it, and I just love hearing it. Us I, and our guitar player. Yeah, our, that's our it. Our guitar was, playing friend, you know, Mike Heidegger. Just kind of threw it together, jammed a little bit, and it was fun as heck to do, you know? Oh, man. And I've got to tell you, I get to choose the Loose and Buttery or the Book of John, and I can tell you right now, I have... 100 times more Book of Johns, but I have to pick a loose and buttery once in a while because I have to hear the song. So, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm in between a rock and a hard place. I could be all... Jo- and then I got thinking about it, too, and I had a book, book of John picked out, and I was like, you know, they, maybe they're getting tired of hearing what I want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Who cares what John wants? It's time for a story. So, anyway, I chose a story that I had on the back burner here for a little while. Ooh, story time. Yeah, and... and um, and I'm going to use it now because of this beautiful spring day. And it, and it reminded me of, of, yeah, it reminded me of this part of my life growing up with my dad. And I, I, I'm not even sure how to describe it as a, a, an ability. I, I might even categorize it as a superpower. But even as a, since I was a, since I was a kid... Now, I've learned some of the tricks, so there, it's less like a superpower now that I'm an adult, but as a kid, it was certainly superpower. My dad is very knowledgeable in the gardening and, you know, producing. He, he, he was a farmer in Italy before they came here. That's what they did. They, they, they lived off the land. So in the springtime, when we start going up to camp, the first ride up to the lake and everything's starting to turn a little green because it's nice and stuff's growing. This guy used to stop along the side of the road. I, I used to think that he had the superpower to see these things, from, which he did. He did. But I also know he knew where they were every year because it's something that comes back every year. And he used to be able to pick up on wild asparagus on the side of the road and all the way up to the lake. What a, wild pain, asparagus? What a pain in the neck it used to be to stop and get this stuff. But by the time we got there, we had a bushel of it. And, and, and like then he'll make like frittata. He calls it frittata. It's basically uh, an asparagus omelet. And it seemed like we had one every day, you know, but he could just fry it up and serve it as a vegetable for, at dinner. Man, I'll eat it until it's gone. It's great. In the really early spring, it's not a big stock like you get in the yeah. grocery markets. It's more like a stringily, spindly kind of, I can't even explain. It's like a weed. It looks like a freaking weed, but he picks those. And man, oh my God, with a little bit of oil and garlic and salt, it's so good. I could eat a bowl of it like this big. It's so good. It's so light <laughs> and it gets crispy a little bit, you know, a little brujade in the pan. You oh, know what I'm talking about? Yeah, baby, bingo. It's the balls, man. It's freaking awesome. So on the way up was always um, asparagus. Uh-huh. And, and I, I think it's that's why this is it's about my dad's ability to pick stuff. And I'm talking about out of the wilderness, not just. In the backyard, because he's an ace gardener. But going out, driving down the road, and finding food that's awesome, that's, that's, that's magic. You know what I mean? I, I try to learn some of these traits, but it's amazing. And the next one is in the fall. In the fall, we used to have to, I swear to God, we had like this old four-door Oldsmobile, and me and my two sisters and my mom and dad would be in the car. And my mom would get in the car, and my dad would strap a fuck. 20 foot ladder to the side of the car and rope it in. So you, my mother couldn't get out if she wanted to, you know? And then, and sure enough, we'd stop, boom, there's this tree. He'd set the ladder up to the tree, go get it. wild mushrooms like you wouldn't believe. Bushels of wild mushrooms. You have to make sure you get the right mushroom. Hey, I'm, I, that's the one that's the scariest one for yeah, me because you is. can screw up there real bad. bad. But I mean, if you go out and pick asparagus and you, 
pick something that wasn't asparagus and you eat it, you're probably not going to die. But some mushrooms could kill you. My father as a kid did that in the backyard. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, the wrong kind of mushroom. Yeah, mushrooms you don't and, mess with. Uh, but my dad knows what he's doing. Get stomach pumped. Gets these bear claws. They're called Adirondack bear claws, he calls them. Those are sometimes they're as big as a bowling ball in a cluster. You bring it home and you got to clean them real good. So you got to have the patience to That's clean a mushroom? them. mushroom? Yeah. It looks more like uh, layers, you know what I mean? It looks like more like coral reef than anything. I know really. what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's uh, and the, uh, same thing: a little oil, garlic in a pan. Yeah, no. Ooh, dog! I can't have enough asparagus. of asparagus. Yeah, yeah. The, a mushroom. I'm not a mushroom guy. The only problem with asparagus, you eat a lot of that. You yeah, pee, pee you, your pee smells yeah. nasty. I'm funny I, how? I mean, funny like no, I'm a no. clown. I no, amuse you. Not that kind of. I thing. make you laugh. I'm here to fucking amuse you. But it what? definitely means you're getting some nutrients in your body. That's what it tells me. You know, you're getting something out of asparagus. Yeah, but sure. it, it, is it that, or is it the other other way where you're not? It's over, your overwhelming not, something. You know? Your body's not processing something processing it it's it's not supposed to it's sending it through it might be yeah so maybe it's it getting rid of the that. toxins then. yeah maybe. something yeah. like that. yeah hey that might be it yeah yeah it yeah. may be a uh oxidant could be an an, an antioxidant is that well i've had some i'll tell you what i've had some really great mushrooms <laughs> i had a couple bad ones a couple he's joking ones. around <laughs> yeah. feels so good when he jokes I never got a bad mush- mushroom from my dad. Mushroom? They never got a bad mushroom. Mushroom? I had a couple friends give me some dried ones a couple times. I didn't know what to do. They just chew it. That didn't taste very good. They made me feel funny. Booyah! <laughs> That's what we call a sack lunch. Nom, 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 We, uh, yeah. He's joking around. <laughs> feels so, so good when he jokes. So I definitely wanted to hit on that because it's it's a little bit storytelling time. It's, it's also, I told it for my parents, I told a bit of that version at my parents' 50th anniversary because, I mean, that was a huge part of my childhood. Like, stopping along the road on the camp from Schenectady to Sagan Dog. Hunting is an, and gathering. It's an hour and a half. Yeah. So you didn't want to be in the car for an hour and a half. You stopped the car six times on the way. You're talking about a three-hour That's trip. That's an hour and a half? From Schenectady, yeah, to our camp, sure. It's the other end of the lake. It doesn't. It's because your ride like to the, from here is no, like no, no, no. Talking about from here, I'm talking about <laughs> even when we used to go up and that's yeah, an hour and, and a half. School, Pretty high rock school. Solid. It didn't. It didn't feel like an hour and a half. Unless you're hauling, and those are all back roads. You don't want to be doing much over sixty. I mean, middle line, you could do sixty, but it just didn't seem like that. Maybe if you said like 45 minutes to an hour, I'd be like, yeah, an hour and a half seems like. Yeah, 45 minutes is from Schenectady yeah. to Saratoga where I work. That's how long it takes. 45 minutes. Believe me, I sleep until it's 45 <laughs> minutes away. <laughs> so nice I know. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> well, snap out of it. So, yeah, you but, do. but it was a huge part of growing up. That's and why you love to go to work from here because it's like it's like twenty minutes. 20. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's that's, the closest I've ever been. That's twenty five extra minutes. Like of sleep. I, I stay at the lake a lot too in the summer, but it's still forty five minutes. It's just from the north instead of from the south. Yeah, I don't think you did stay at the lake a lot last summer. Summer before we got that, too much to there. do here. Yeah, well, let, well, with band practice. Yeah, I got band practice pa- Monday, podcasts. podcast Tuesday. <laughs> You got a lot. You got you, you got a busy life, don't you? Oh, yeah, I got a little crazy there because a couple of unforeseen Human things came up. Dogs That's, and cats living together, mass hysteria. That's your life. Yeah, yeah. Hey, all I got to do is go in the basement, folks. <laughs> yeah, I get around. <laughs> that's that's about it, right there. I'm getting a lot done though. You know, I don't want to change because a lot of things are getting actually done. Are we out of loose and buttery? Yeah, I'd like to hear some of that music. Let's... Woo! Oh, no, you didn't.
All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. You can find us at Bob and John's Podcast at gmail.com or at Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram or at our Facebook page or our YouTube channel at Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Gotta put them in your face all over the place. We're online 24 7, 24 7. You're listening to the hottest internet station, Bob and John Super Duper Variety Power. You just gotta keep living, man. L I V I N. That's right. Just gotta keep living. You got any closing thoughts? We're in the final 10. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, it went fast. Final ten. So I can't do any of those because I got, I think I got a bit for that. Any closing thoughts? I don't, I don't want to talk about wood. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a tumor. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Now that I'm thinking about camping and all of that, we really have to consider the um, the floating podcast. I. I Floating podcast. Really, uh, again, really more things for Bob to figure out. Mm-hmm. I said, stick it in your ass. Is that from uh, the the newer newer one? The Grand well, Torino? Grand Torino? No, no, because he's got that. He's got more of a voice. Like that's probably from the seventies or. Well, how'd you get like it that. if you don't know where it's from? It was in a collage of his, just oh. of. Uh, I said, uh, stick it in your ass. <laughs> Snap out of I said, stick it in your ass. <laughs> Pretty matter-of-factly, I might, might, it might say. It was right in there with that same one that we use. Is he busting? I feel like he's busting my balls. When's, uh, when's Pat in town? Uh, this, this coming weekend. Coming up? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes, the, that Friday, I think. The uh, 17th. So, actually, a day after this airs. So, Pat, get a hold of us after you listen to this. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't forget. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, yeah. Even if you can, uh, wherever, even if you could just, we can get out and just grab a, a beer someplace and just, uh, you know, shoot the shit for an hour, you know, whatever. Yeah. Half hour, hour, whatever, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Doesn't have to be anything uh, too, no. too nope. major or anything. Just uh, shoot the shit and. Ah, uh, you know, oh, what? could be a good reason to go to Hooters. <laughs> what? So funny. We make a special trip there at, once in a while. You know, it's not a tumor. <laughs> what? You love that place. I don't. Not. Not like uh, obsessively. <laughs> go once in a while. Any chance to go to when's Hooters? The last time, when's the last time we went? It was last year. Beer and boobs. Well, You're- I mean, come on. <laughs> That's it. It's uh, that. That is worth the money. If I, if anybody, I, mean, I can make chicken wings right here. I can drink beer right here. I mean, that's the, the way boobs. I feel about going to bars. I'm not a huge fan, but that particular trip, especially because you like going, you're driving. I'm in. We'll get you beer Pat, here. Pat we'll, likes that stuff a little bit too. We'll, you know? we'll get you. He's a married man now. Maybe he doesn't. Um, we'll ask him. Uh, you know, I'm, you get chicken I'm wings here. About, I'm not talking about our early days you on get, the air because of, uh, he's a dad, and I don't want to. You get chicken wings him, here. You have beer we had here. Some good times. You squeeze Jay in a tube in top. Day. You can have boobies. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. I wasn't even listening, and I heard <laughs> Jay and around. boobies in the same <laughs> sentence. Feels so and, good and when it joked. didn't sound right. Like you're gonna put him in what? I didn't hear it. What? We'll put, we'll put somebody. We'll put. We'll, we'll. <laughs> no, it's not. It doesn't sound like it's gonna work. I'll tell you that right now. So far, it sounds like a bad plan. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so funky. That's right. Oh, the best part of that whole thing is you smashed your head on the microphone at one point. I said, "Stick it in your ass." <laughs> That's right. That's right. Finger painting. Do you remember by where I where I live? It would have been. Yeah, I remember where you live. My, it would have been a block away. This old place that uh, 
we used to go to, um, it was the last stripper bar in Schenectady. Uh, Toy box. Oh. It would, it, it, if it kept, it, if it kept the doors open, it would have been walking distance from my two family. You guys were and in when, a zone and when, 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 with when, strip clubs when you first turned 21. Yeah, yeah, really. Back then, sure. Yeah, sure. they bored the shit out. It, it, it's one of those, the, the look but can't touch thing. When you, that, that's fine and good when you're in a relationship. It's, you know what? But when you're not, it's like, can I take it home? No, I'm uh, not in. I just, no. I'd rather just. At that time, it, I'd rather I do wasn't, something else. At that you know? time, I wasn't looking at the money. Association? No, no, you weren't. At and all. now, you know, now I mean, I'm not going to spend money for that experience. But that's why I like the Hooters. It's not, it's not a strip place. No, it's to, you know, you get to see a little bit more cleavage, cleavage, and and even some, uh, you know, badonk and donk too because of the the outfits. You know, some badonk and donk, which is fu- which is nice. I think that's fine. I I think it's great. I wish I had that experience in more places, but I, I know society doesn't agree with what I want. So, once in a blue moon, I like to go to Hooters, and I feel perfectly accepted. Did your ex-wife work at Hooters once? I think she did at one time. I, I have a Hooters jersey, and I think that's how I got it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. It reminds me of the movie Big Daddy with Adam Sandler, when he's making fun of his roommate's girlfriend all the time because she worked at Hooters, yeah. and he's always like, Hooters, 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 Hooters. Nah, I, yeah, I, you going to your Hooters me, reunion? I, wasn't, I was not disappointed about. In fact, I'm I'm proud to say I. Oh, I, I don't have any problem with it. I was just say saying. I, I, it I was just reminded to me to an ex Hooters. It, it just reminded <laughs> me just. of that. It, it just reminded <laughs> me of that. That movie it was funny. Yeah, it was sure. funny. Yeah, well, and for some people, see, that's where the it's weird. It's really for not that big of a people, deal. It might be. Ba- like there's more bathing in life, suits. Maybe it bothers them it's to more, admit There are bathing but... suits that are more revealing Absolutely. than that. Absolutely. Are you kidding yeah. me? People are people are uptight. They need to get the bug out their right. ass. Right, right. And that's why I feel like I, I, I can let the sale out a little bit. It's not like I get hammered there. I don't want to spend the money. Well, Pat, if you're listening to this, what John do you wants think? to Hooters? go to Hooters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're in, tell me. You know, I think it's, uh, it's we're not asking too much. And if your wife is listening with you, we're sorry. We're, uh, we're not hey, bad. No, hey, we're, we're not, not to bad influences. One, we're not really trying to aren't. sneak one by you. Yeah, we're, we're really trying not. To sell a case? Why it's okay? It's a it's a f- family. It, oh, they've always said a family friendly restaurant. They they have. They've tried to to market themselves that way. Really, they, they and and you know what? I would feel fine bringing. I was I just thinking about this. No problem, my nephews, and I'll bring even my daughter. I took my. You know what I mean. There. I don't, yeah. there's no, I, there's nothing, I don't think there's anything to be ashamed of. No. And they have a nice selection of wings, man. Yeah. If you dig chicken wings, you can get them hot, medium, mild, breaded, naked, any, all kinds of ways. Curly fries. They got some nice curly fries. Curly fries. Curly, I get curly, the curly, curly fries. Curly, I like curly, curly fries. fries. I do like curly, curly fries. fries. Curly fries. I love the breaded ones, but they're so filling. Man, I can't eat that many. That's of always them. That's, that's, that's always our thing. Is yeah, yeah. When one of us goes to Hooters to take a picture when they're walking in of the Hooters sign, then send it to the other person when they know the other person is oh, doing something they don't so want to be doing. Like when I'm at work <laughs> and Bob sends that picture. You got to me a couple of times, though, too. You, did, you got me a couple of times. What do you mean? That. I don't go without you. I've never gone no, to there was like, you went Hooters that. without you. Yeah, there was the one time you sent it to me. No. Yes. I might have been in a different state. You know, no, no, no. It was the one right down here. You no. went. You were there for some reason with somebody. It sounds I don't impossible. Who it, was. it was not impossible. Amy might have went with me. I think that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, she would have gone. I think that's what it was, and you sent the sent me the picture. You're right. Like, oh. You're right. Yes, we did go there. That, See, so I did. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad I got one on you. You probably got ten I said, on me. Stick it in your ass. That's right. How funny how? It's right. <laughs> Like All right, let's clown? get the hell out of here. Okay, we're gonna go watch Game of so. Thrones. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Woohoo! Let's do it. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> All right, say good night, John. Good night, John. Uh, Stadler. Yeah, uh, what? Is that it? Yes, it's over. How'd you like it? I don't know. I slept through the whole thing. Well, you didn't miss much. Chico. I said, stick it in your ass. <laughs> <laughs>